Sure. This is a, a story my brother and I love to share. It's kind of entered our lore, but it was when several years ago, um, well, 18 years ago, <laughs> um, we were getting Kirby 64, which we had planned to get for a while, but hadn't gotten around to it. Amazing game, by the way. Yes. And apparently, we were doing this on the same day, or like the day after Paper Mario came out. And the guy at the checkout counter, when we were... And remember, we're just young kids, okay? My brother was kind of like pre-teenish, but you know, we're like young kids. And we're going to the checkout counter with Kirby 64, the guy is like, Hey, you know, before I bring this up, there's this game called Paper Mario that just came out today. It's really cool, you should check it out. And we were like, okay. But the weird thing is, like, he kept going on and on about it. And he was like, I mean, Kirby 64? Why would you get this game? This is like three years old, you know, Paper Mario. (laughs) It has, like, these hand-drawn graphics, and it's like Mario, except it's role-playing. It's gotten some really good reviews, too. I love it. I mean, if I'm getting a new N64 game, that's what I'd be getting, you know. Not Kirby 64. I mean, it's old. It's one of the weaker Kirby games. And he kept... It was so weird because he kept, like, going on and on so adamantly. And it was like... At a certain point, he was just, like, seriously talking to someone. Like, he wasn't trying to do a sales pitch or anything. And we're just two kids standing there wanting to buy Kirby 64... And this guy is like, come on, why do you want this game? That's so stupid. Get Paper Mario. It's so much better. Why in the world would you want to get Kirby 64? We were like, well, gosh, we just want Kirby 64. Come on.